Hey everyone, um, yesterday was an interesting day for me because I found out that uh, Frosted Caribou had put a few clips of me in her big video, which, um, you know, my initial reaction was I'm super excited, I have such a great YouTuber who listened to my video, watched it, uh, definitely thought what I had to say was valuable and interesting enough to put it in her video. Um, so it's very cool to me that such a great YouTuber had, you know, thought what I had to say was had merit and it you know validated what i was saying um but then as i started to watch the video um my heart kind of sank in my stomach because it validated what i was saying <laughs> um you know i realized that's not a good thing we don't want this to be such a severe situation that it's gotten to this point um i had to stop watching the video now i do plan on watching the whole video but um I had to take a break from watching it because I started getting so stressed out. When when I see anything that has to do with Logan Paul or Jake Paul or whatever his name is, it's something that kind of puts me on edge. And to be honest with you, I don't blame the guy for doing what he does. Um, he's a rich guy who can make more money and capitalize on his popularity. Uh, I can't say I want to do the same thing in his shoes, so why, why wouldn't I, you know? So... I dislike the guy, but I'm not mad at him for doing what he does. Um, the other... <laughs> so there's one factor with what's going on, right? We have guys like him capitalizing on Pokemon cards. Well, there's another factor at hand. Scalpers. You know, we've certainly talked about this. Um, you know, I think a lot of the scalpers are people that work at the stores. I, you guys have... You know, so many people have watched my video and commented. It's like funny. One of them has a ton of thumbs up and one of them has a ton of comments. Not that the other one doesn't have a lot of comments too, but it was just crazy to hear from that many people, you know, agreeing and having so much to say and so many people watching it. That that part to me was really crazy. Um, so <laughs> the scalpers, I think, are mostly people that work in the stores. As you guys know, I'm going to be getting a job if possible at these stores that's Put out Pokemon cards. Um, you know, hopefully next week I'll have interviews. And I'm sorry about the noise. I have a neighbor that's getting like 20 trees taken down today. <laughs> so don't mind that. Hopefully it doesn't um, disturb the audio too much. Um, so am I mad about scalpers? Yes. Am I mad at scalpers? No. I'm mad about the situation, but I don't blame them as people because here in America, we have a situation where it's so hard to get by and survive. If you get a medical bill, you're out of luck. If you have to put tires on your car and you, you're working a low-wage job, what can you do, you know? And I'm not somebody who wants or needs one of those jobs because my financial situation's uh, pretty good. Um, but I want to do it, like I said, just to get to the bottom of this Pokemon cart situation. So am I mad directly at scalpers? No, because if you could make a little bit of money to get ahead and you need that money i'm not mad at you i know it's hard i've i've had some tough times in my life for sure um so i'm also mad at the people paying the scalping price um i think they're more to blame than the scalpers themselves because if they're getting their products sold at that price is what's going to stop them from doing it because those scalpers don't care about pokemon cards they don't care about the pokemon community at all right they're just like oh quick buck i need money great <laughs> um so yeah i'm mad at people paying the scalping prices because if we would all as a community stop paying people 200 dollars in etb for hidden fates they're gonna stop selling them at 200 dollars Prices are going to go down, but that's just market price right now, isn't it? Because the Pokemon company can't print enough. So, is, we're trying to think of who to blame here, right? The Pokemon company is probably printing as much as they possibly can, because why wouldn't they want money? Why wouldn't they want to sell their products? Of course they want to. But there's going to be a massive crash and burn. Um, you know, if we look at baseball cards in the 90s, Beanie Babies, Cabbage Patch Kids, you know, the demand is so high. They're going for more than market value, like regular. There's going to be a crash. It's going to be so bad. And honestly, as somebody who just enjoys Pokemon, as you can see by what I have around me, I just enjoy it. I'm a collector. 
I like what I like. You know, I'm somebody who a uh, video game comes down. I want it. I just go and buy it. You know, I even though I have money, I'm not paying the scalping prices as much as I can help it. Um, it's only happened like one or two times to me in the past year that I've I've paid an inflated price. Um, so, <laughs> who am I to point the finger at here? And are we going to see a massive crash and burn? I think so. I think we're going to get into a situation where these cars are going to become worth so much less. And not the old Wizards of the Coast stuff, because that will keep going up in value. Because they can't reprint that, and they won't reprint it. The actual original print will be worth a lot of money. But the Sword and Shield era stuff? Oh, that's going to plummet. That is going to dive so hard. And I welcome it because I want to be able to buy the cards at the prices I want to buy. I want to be able to fill a whole set. I want to finish sets. You know, I want to I want to build decks with all these cards. But do I want to pay $5, $20, $30 a card? No, I'm bringing on the crash. Because <laughs> you know who's going to get stuck with the product? The scalpers. Those are the ones that are going to be hurting. Um, and then, you know, a lot of this modern era stuff, when it becomes worth less, probably... Most likely. I mean, I, I do like to focus a lot on Pokemon Finance, but I do think there's going to be a significant crash in the next year. It's not going to happen in the next six months, but I think in the next year. I, I welcome it if it does happen. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, I definitely, I definitely want to know what you guys think is going to happen. Um, you know, definitely also let me know what set you want reprinted the most out of modern sets. And, you know, I'm a very small YouTuber. I don't expect people to watch my videos. When they do and they comment, it makes me very happy because I'm just somebody who does what they love. I love Pokemon. I love video games. I love retro stuff. I love um, nostalgic things from the 80s and 90s. Definitely into, you know, retro gaming. But I do what I love. I do this, you know, not to make money, because I'm not making any money. I'm doing what I enjoy. And, you know, if you're somebody who's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I think you should do it, because um, it's a lot of fun. It's fun to just do what you love, and I'm going to keep doing it, because I love it. And I really appreciate every one of you that likes, subscribes, comments. I really appreciate that. I'm really honored that Frosted Caribou had put me, you know, a couple clips of me in her video. Super cool. Um, but yeah, I, I plan on doing a follow-up video, you know, let you guys know where I wind up getting a job. Hopefully I could do that next week. <laughs> I'm open. Um, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to be persistent. Uh, if I don't get a job, you know, hopefully one of my friends does so we can talk about that. And I definitely should do a little more research on the finances and follow up with you guys on that because I think you all should be ready for some weird stuff when there's some massive reprints. But we'll see what happens. And um, thank you guys so much for being there for me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm going to say bye for now and take care.